Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 5.10, uh, Impacts of Urbanization. Okay, so when we're talking about urbanization, this is the idea that um, the human population has grown pretty much exponentially. We've talked about this a little bit. Uh, we've kind of grown in a J curve, um, which has led to uh, populations to, to be very high, right? And so one of the things that happened is with farming and agriculture um, starting off as these centers of, of gathering, populations began to be more centralized and that centralization has occurred with the advent of cities. So now you have these very large places with lots of people and now you've got industrialization that's pushed this as well as the commerce, right? You need to be around where the business is or where the people are. So that's kind of led to this boom in urbanization around the world. Okay. And so one of the problems that uh, occurs with urbanization is going to be um, this idea that um, you can end up having a um, area near the coast that's going to cause saltwater intrusion. Right. So down here we have some examples of some freshwater wells. So that's what this is right here. It's a freshwater well, as is this one. Okay. And what's happening is when you start pumping water out of those wells, this line that normally divides the salt and the freshwater that line starts to move and the salt water then mixes. So think of it as kind of like a pressure uh, wall here. And once you start using the straw to kind of take up that fresh water, the pressure destroys, or is not destroyed, but is gone. And now the salt water starts to mix in. So you're now getting lateral and vertical intrusion. And so you've got now brackish water, which means it's not drinkable water. So that's gonna be a problem. And, when you, and you gotta remember, the um, population of the world, 60% of the Earth's population lives about 60 miles away um, or less from a, uh, uh, the coastlines. So this can be an impact globally, not just locally. And so of course there's other issues with living in cities. Number one is you're gonna get fossil fuels going up, right? People are gonna have to travel around, they're gonna move around their urban environments. And with that, humans do generate quite a bit of trash, so that's gonna cause landfill use to go up. And if you know that's not a convenient thing and it's not something that people can get to easily, they're going to end up with more burning of waste. And so that's going to add carbon to the carbon cycle. So it ends up being kind of a positive feedback loop where it just builds up on itself. And so one of the big issues you're going to see quite a bit is something about impervious surfaces. So that basically just means that water is not going to be able to travel into the ground like it's supposed to. Right. So think about all the times we use concrete or asphalt. That's roads buildings, sidewalks, parking lots, all of that leads to covering up soil. So when it rains, the water can't get through the concrete. I mean, eventually it will, concrete doesn't last forever, but for the short term, the water is gonna build up. And if you don't have proper drainage, if that's not properly designed in the cities or the towns that are put up, then that water is gonna stay and stay and stay. And sometimes you end up with places that just end up with too much water in general and there's nowhere to go. It doesn't matter how good your design is. So um, that's gonna be a problem. So you end up with these impervious surfaces that can lead to flood. And then of course, here's the issue too, is the downside is people don't like living in the city as much. It gets very expensive, okay? The suburbs end up being a better choice for most people. So they decide to move to the suburbs, but what that does is that causes something called urban sprawl. So the people will end up living outside the city but that'll lead to all these other smaller towns popping up and that's going to lead to commuters which means more fossil fuels people getting in their cars or riding buses or trains to get into the cities that's going to lead to more impervious surfaces that are more spread out and more use of fossil fuels because of the travel so um, this is going to be kind of how it works you know you people want to work in the city but they don't want to live there so they spread out further and so here's some other resources you can use to kind of uh, you know, fill in the gaps here. But hopefully uh, those will be helpful and hopefully this was too. Thank you very much.